Hello everybody, this is Joseph, and welcome to your third tutorial on QML uh, GUI programming. Uh, in this tutorial, we're not we're still not going to get to coding yet, but what we're going to do is we're going to walk through our IDE and get to learn what mo more about it. Um, now, the first thing that you can do is underneath this Get Started tab right here, okay, we can go through each one of these and read each one of these. We can also learn about blogs that are there on the online community where to get help right away and a user's guide okay cute has a magnificent i mean probably the best documentation for a framework that i've seen out there it's just unbelievable how nice it is um and uh what else we can do is we can let, let's uh skip the develop page for this tutorial and let's go to examples and this will load all of the example files that Qt, I'm sorry, that Qt has uh, has made for you already, so that you can learn by example, and uh, you can pick from each one. Then we also have the tutorials page, and this we can go through and learn all about Qt, and some of them are for Qt, some of them are for QML. Let's go up to our file bar. Actually, go back to the Get Started page here, and now go up to our file bar. And you can see that we have, uh, we can open new projects, we can look at our recent projects, our recent, sh we can declare different kinds of sessions and session managers, and uh, we can exit right now, that's about it. We can go to Edit, <clears throat> we can go to Advanced, and use Vim type styling if you are a VI user. Um, you will find this very, very handy and helpful in the edit mode, which we will be in very soon. Find and replace, of course, is uh, exactly what it sounds like. We have our debugging one, our analyzation, which we will be setting up here very, very soon, our tools. Now, this is a very important one right here, and you should spend a lot of time getting to learn what the all these tools are um, and how to use each one of these tools. Uh, especially this one right here, the options page. Um, that's going to be pretty much the focal of these next couple tutorials is uh, setting up your options, setting up your development environment to be really uh, a good environment for you to be having. Um, next we can go to our windows and we can actually play around with the windows and uh, put it put Q creator if we wanted to into full screen and you can read through these they're pretty much self-explanatory the help menu uh, one of two help menus I should say in Q uh, creator the IDE um, yeah this is also really good we can go to about plugins and we can actually install more plugins if we go down and through here we can actually install more plugins if you don't have maybe some of the version control plugins installed you can install them from here um, we can go to these help again and let's look at about qt creator this gives us what's called the dialogue right here that you're looking at um, and i should mention that cute creator itself is wrote in cute um, anyways there we go we've now done that and uh, we can report a bug against it if we think we found a bug in Qt or Qt Creator. We can get uh, professional technical support. We can look at index and the context help. So the context help, let's, look, let's take a look at that. And you can see right here that it says F1 right here. That means that if we press that key that uh, it'll automatically open up. So let's go over to that right there. And it is the help section. We press this and you are maybe a little bit overwhelmed right here but we have got massive massive amounts of help and uh, this is like I said they make the best in my honest opinion at this point which isn't the greatest opinion but they make really good documentation we can go and look through each one. So say we find a help page that we really like we can bookmark it so that we can get back to it really quick we can go to content and look at each one of the libraries, okay? Like Qt Quick or Qt QML. And we can look at how they're made, like the JavaScript engine, which we will be using. You can see that it actually shows you how it's made and everything. We can also go to the index page, which I use a lot. And we can type in whatever it is that we're looking for. 
we find it, we click on it, it brings up which version we want to look at, and we want to look at the one for 5.1. And we display, and here we go. We have all of the, uh, the help that we would want, and we can go through this and read the whole entire help pages. And as you can see, just for text, how many actual help pages there are just for text. And if we go to open pages, it will show that the text page is open. And search does exactly what it seems to sound like. It searches for things like, say, text. And we can go through this whole entire thing. And even like this, uh, you can see that there's just so much documentation that it's a little bit overwhelming, but it just it works very, very well. Um, and I find myself in this documentation a lot of times. So let's review on what we learned. We learned about walking through the, uh, the file bar up here and what to do. We learned how to get to the help page. We learned about the welcome screen right here with getting started. The examples, how to open up examples, we'll cover pretty soon. And we learned about how to find other tutorials. We, and we learned we should read all of this and go through it. And we learned that there is a tools pain in that we should keep our eye on the options, which we will be covering probably in the next tutorial. Well, this is Joseph. I hope you liked this video tutorial. If you have any questions, leave comments below and have a good one.